Hey, welcome back. The Kings at it again here. Last night, LeBron James broke an NBA record that stood for nearly four decades, passing six-time NBA MVP Kareem Abdul-Jabbar to become the NBA's new all-time leading scorer. Looking for James. He's got it. Coming to the end of the third quarter, LeBron James, a shot in history. So with that, James surpassing the record with just over 10 seconds left in the third quarter. Officials paused the game for several minutes. They had to to honor James on the court. Hmm. I just want to say um, you know, thank you to the Laker faithful. Um, you guys are one of a kind. Uh, to be able to be in the presence of such a legend and great as Kareem, it, it means so much to me. It's very humbling. So NBA Commissioner Adam Silver congratulated him. Abdul-Jabbar handed him a game ball at center court. It was a really cool moment. The Lakers lost, but who cares, right, Holony? It was all about James. Hey, never forget, 7,919 points that LeBron James scores was in a Miami Heat uniform, won his first championship. That's true. Game. I don't know, though, and I think he'll say he couldn't have done that, you know, here in Miami or even Cleveland. So I think the bigger debate here, and you're going to see this a lot today, is he better than MJ? I don't know. We won't go there, but, you know, hey. So we know where you fall. You have gone there. So is Jennifer. <laughs> Big MJ fans over here. I was He's there great, early though. in this morning. All right.